adventure then we'll be jumping into press play so let's unpack the story again of Moses and the whiner here we go oh at least someone's here are you guys looking for Moses too I've been trying to find him all day well I guess you'd better come in and we'll wait for Moses together Where in the world could he be? I so need to talk to him. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting and still no Moses. Where is he? <sighs> Where have you been, Moses? I thought you were never coming back. Well, these stone tablets are really heavy, so it took me a while to get down the mountain. What have you been doing on a mountain, Moses? You need to be here. You're supposed to be guiding our people now, you know? I'm not guiding the people, Malachi. God guides us. So trust God. That's what these tablets are all about. God wrote ten important guidelines on these tablets for us to follow. Oh, great. More rules. I hate rules. How many are there anyways? There's ten. Let's all count to ten together. And then we'll remember, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> nine, ten. I want you to understand why God gives us these ten commandments. Do you trust me? Uh, sort of. Do you trust God? Well, yeah, yeah. Okay then, each of these traps behind me represent one of God's commandments. I want you to remember that God guides us. Trust God. And I want you to see that if we don't obey these commandments, bad things can happen. Like this! <laughs> ah! 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 What was that? That, Malachi, is a trap. If you step in it, you can really, can really hurt. And it's the same in life. God wants you to avoid traps so we don't get hurt. Now, close your eyes, and we'll see if we can avoid the rest of these traps. Uh -huh. Are your eyes closed? Uh -huh. Close my close eyes? Yes. Oh, no. Yes, you can do this. Um. You out there, participate. Close your eyes. Okay, we're slowly going to go through. Are you ready? The first commandment says that we shouldn't have any gods except our one true God. Why do you think God wants us to honor only him? Do you guys have any answers? It's because God is the only real God and all the other gods are fake. Good answer. So, if we follow fake gods, we're missing out on the one true God has for us. And that can really hurt us. Right? Oh! This one says we shouldn't have idols in our lives. That means things that matter more to us than God. What kinds of things in our lives might be idols? Do you guys have, do you guys have any ideas? <gasps> or her video games? Money? Yes, if we put anything other than God first in our lives, we can get hurt. Whoop, there goes another one. Let's move on. Okay, this third commandment says, don't misuse the name of God. Have you ever heard anyone say God's name in a bad way? Maybe when they're mad or upset? I don't want you to repeat it. Just raise your hand or nod your head if you've heard someone say something bad. I'm sure we all have. But you know, when we misuse God's name, we're not showing honor to him, and that's bad. Oh, 
There's another one. Oh, these traps can really hurt. Are you starting to understand why God gives us the commandments, Malachi? Good, I'm glad you're nodding. That finds out, that's how we find out the next commandment. Let's go and see the other one. Oh, this fourth commandment says to keep the Sabbath day holy. What kind of things would people rather to do on a Sunday instead of going to church or thinking about God? Here's some answers. Oh, heard sleep, watch TV. Yep, those are good answers. Not keeping the Sabbath holy can hurt us because it takes our attention away from God. Oh, another one. I know, Malachi, it's scary, isn't it? Okay, the fifth commandment says to honor your mother and your father. What are some ways kids don't honor their mother and their father? Oh, I heard disobey? Yep, yeah, that's right. It can be very hurtful. Woo! The next commandment, number six, says don't murder. What happens when someone murders another person? You guys have some answers? Yes, you can go to jail, go to prison. That's right. Murder is really hurtful. Let's see why number, what number seven says. You ready for seven? Number seven. We're almost to the end, Malachi. You can do this. God guides us, so trust God. Okay. Number seven says that husbands and wives should stay true to each other. What happens when husbands and wives don't stay true to each other? Nope. Oh, I heard someone say divorced. Family breaks up. Bad things can happen when we don't obey God's commandments. And people and families get really hurt. Next trap. Okay, number eight. Number eight says not to steal. That's a good commandment to listen to. What happens when you steal? You can get caught. You can get in trouble. Thanks for those answers. Now, stealing can cause a lot of hurt. Okay, we're almost done. Malachi, moving on to number nine. Here we go. Steps to the next trap is the ninth commandment that says not to lie. What bad things can happen if you lie? You guys got some answers? Yes, maybe something like your friends won't trust you anymore. It feels really bad when friends don't trust us anymore. Oh, and the last one. We don't want it to happen. Here we go. We want to remember that God guides us, so trust God. And the tenth commandment. It says not to covet what anyone else has. Have you really, really wanted something that belonged to somebody else? How does that wanting this thing make you feel? You guys got some answers? Okay, unhappy, unsatisfied. Thanks for all those great answers, BCC kids. Coveting can make us feel terrible. You did it, Malachi. You made it safely through the commandments. Let's give a big round of applause. Now remember, God guides us, so trust God. Okay, let's all go back to the tent. Talk about this with your family. What was it like watching Malachi go through all these traps? What were you thinking and feeling? And how can these Ten Commandments help you make good decisions this week? God knows which choices might hurt us and which choices will keep us safe. That's why he gives us rules and guidelines to keep us safe and happy. Oh, now I get it. So the guidelines on these tablets are really good ideas. Here you go. You don't mind if I take these tablets home, do you? My memory is not so good and I might need a reminder. Sure, you can borrow them, please. Just bring them back, okay? Because we need to show them to everybody. Well, thank you. Well, this might help me. I hope these help me remember. I'll bring them back. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Malachi.
Some notes from Jesus, what your new best friend wants you to know. For our last week, this is what we'll be reading. I want you to know, I love hearing you speak up for me. Now imagine this is Jesus talking to you. I, I speak up for you, you know. I tell my heavenly father, that one, that's a friend of mine. I'm so proud of that one. I'd like you to be proud of me too, to introduce me to your other friends, to speak up and let people know that you love me. Because there are a lot of people who haven't heard about me, or they've heard, but they don't really know me, not the way you know me. I'd like to meet them too. So would you introduce us? I love them too, and I want us all to be friends. I want to do for them what I'm doing for you. Here's how we can become even better friends. What would you say if you were to in introduce me to your friends? Let's practice. Tell me out loud. Notes from Jesus, which your new best friend wants you to know. I wonder how many of you like snakes. I'll tell you this, I don't. But have you ever heard of the sidewinder snake? After today, you'll know all about it. One, they have horns to protect their eyes. Can you believe this creature was created with such a unique skill? These horns shade their eyes from the sun and protect sand from getting in their eyes. That is amazing. And can you believe this? They eat other snakes. I can't even start to imagine that. While these guys prefer to eat rodents, birds, and other small creatures, they have no problem eating other snakes or reptiles. Ugh. They are one of the smallest rattlesnakes out there. While some snakes grow to be five feet tall, these guys remain at one and a half or two feet tall. That's really small. And they change color in the cold. Wouldn't you love to be able to change color? For sidewinder snakes, their scales change color in the cold. While lots of lizards and chameleons do this, it's rare in snakes. Well guys, this is it. I hope you've enjoyed learning all about the desert animals. Well, BCC kids, thank you for joining us. We've had a lot of fun being Moses and Malachi, and I hope that you guys can ponder some of the things that we've learned and really enjoyed the journey as we've traveled through Egypt and seen that God can be trusted and guides us. I hope you guys have learned not to whine like Malachi and enjoyed everything that he has taught you this time and we will see you at press play yes goodbye bcc kids see you next week yeah